blockchain, Bitcoin, crypto, cryptocurrencies, tokens, are they all the same? No, they're not. Each of these terms defines one particular component of this incredible architecture we call crypto. Let's take a look at all of them. Let's start off with blockchain. A blockchain is a distributed software that runs over a network of computers owned or operated by multiple people, sometimes called miners, that validate the transactions. The network uses different types of cryptography to record transactions and track assets. Blockchains play a crucial role in cryptocurrency systems like Ethereum by maintaining a secured and decentralized record of transactions. Security and finality of the transactions are achieved through the use of a computer algorithm called consensus mechanism. This is a smart way of saying that once the transactions are validated, they are finally written and copied across all of the network computers and the validators get paid in the corresponding cryptocurrency of that blockchain network. The term blockchain network sometimes includes networks that would not historically be known as chain of blocks. As such, it's helpful to see the term as a category rather than a precise definition. Bitcoin. Bitcoin is considered the first cryptocurrency that ever existed and the first real-world implementation of a blockchain network. It was first proposed by author Satoshi Nakamoto, an anonymous person or people, on the now famous white paper Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, back in October 28, 2008. Bitcoin the network was finally implemented on the 3rd of January of 2009 when Nakamoto mined what is known as the Genesis block. Currently, Bitcoin is the most decentralized blockchain network and its native cryptocurrency, the Bitcoin, is the largest cryptocurrency by market cap. Bitcoin is used around the world by enthusiasts and businesses as a form of store of value and means of exchange and its legal tender, a valid legal currency, in El Salvador and Central African Republic, with other countries also considering legal adoption. Being the longest cryptocurrency, Bitcoin has many interesting milestones. My favorite is the Bitcoin Pizza Day. It's celebrated every May 22nd to mark the day that Laszlo Honiec bought two pizzas with Bitcoin back in May 22, 2010. He paid 10,000 Bitcoin, which was around $41 at the time, to Jeremy Sturdivant, who brought the two large pizzas. This was the first time anyone was ever reported to have used Bitcoin to buy physical goods. Crypto Crypto is short for a cryptocurrency, but it's used in a broader sense to describe the industry around cryptocurrencies. The term is derived from cryptography the mathematical mechanism that helps ensure that the assets being traded on a blockchain belong to one address. It's because of cryptography that Bitcoin originally resolved the double spending problem by ensuring that once an asset, in that case a Bitcoin, moved from one wallet address to another, the sender did not have further access to it. With time, crypto became synonymous with everything that involves a public blockchain cryptocurrencies, digital assets, and tokens. Cryptocurrencies Cryptocurrency is a term historically used to describe assets such as Bitcoin and Ether, which are the native digital assets that are created, traded, and used to run the corresponding public blockchain. For example, to run the Bitcoin blockchain, the network computers called miners compete with each other to see who solves a random mathematical problem first, gaining the right to register the transactions that are queued for processing to the next block and getting paid to do so. That payment is made by the network in Bitcoins, the cryptocurrency. This process is called mining because it resembles the work miners do in the real world when digging for metal, and it's using blockchains that use proof-of-work consensus. On the other hand, blockchains like the upcoming version of Ethereum uses proof-of-stake, in which instead of competing with computing power, they stake a minimum of 32 Ether to be activated and selected at random by the network as validators, which replace the miners. Once chosen, it validates the transactions and records the block, getting paid Ether by the fees collected from the parties who queued the transactions. Another term that gets often thrown around is tokens. In Web3, 
A token is a common term used to describe an asset or form of value represented and transacted on a blockchain. It's used to describe a native network digital asset, such as Bitcoin, Ether, Sol, etc. It can also describe a fungible token, like Uni or Sushi, which are tokens that can be traded one-to-one -one and represent the exact same value. It describes real-world assets that have been tokenized in digital form, such as the equity of a business or the property of a real estate. Or even to describe the infamous NFTs, the non-fungible tokens like the board apes or CryptoPunks, which represent rights to specific assets that are uniquely defined on the blockchain and are tradable, although not interchangeably. So why should you know about this? Well, crypto as an industry is becoming increasingly more ubiquitous. A reported 10% of our households in the European Union now support exposure to crypto. And a research by Gemini found that 41% of the world is crypto curious. While there are still technical and regulatory challenges, crypto is here to stay and is helping Web3 shape the future of finance. So in short, blockchain is the network. It's where the magic happens. Crypto is an umbrella term for the industry. Cryptocurrency is the digital asset native to the public blockchain. Bitcoin is the native asset of the Bitcoin blockchain. And token is a form of value represented and traded on a blockchain.